The Book of Ecclesiastes, as unpacked by Ryan Cook of Moody Theological Seminary, offers a deep dive into the wisdom literature of the Bible, specifically scrutinizing the essence of living a meaningful life. Unlike the traditional view of wisdom as merely intellectual acuity or sharp wit, biblical wisdom encompasses a broader, more nuanced mastery in the art of living well. Ecclesiastes, in particular, grapples with the existential question that has puzzled humanity throughout the ages. What is the meaning of life? The pursuit of this question is central to understanding how to navigate the complexities of existence. In his discourse, Cook draws parallels between living without understanding life's purpose and playing a sport without knowledge of its rules or objectives. Such an endeavor is not only futile, but likely to result in failure and confusion. Ecclesiastes uses the metaphor of shepherding the wind to illustrate the absurdity of attempting to live purposefully without grasping the true essence of life. The text, attributed to Kohalat, a figure presumed to be Solomon due to descriptions of wisdom and wealth, dives into this conundrum without offering easy answers, instead inviting readers on a journey of profound self-reflection and contemplation. Also, Kohalat's endeavor to understand the meaning of life under the heavens, without recourse to divine revelation, emphasizes a fundamental biblical theme, the limitations of human intellect and effort in comprehending life's ultimate purpose. Despite humanity's achievements across epochs, be it technological advancements or scientific breakthroughs, Kohalet arrives at a seemingly pessimistic conclusion that all is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. This assertion challenges the modern narrative of progress, which posits that human ingenuity can solve the world's fundamental problems and improve the human condition ad infinitum. Moreover, through a methodical examination of various human pursuits like wealth accumulation, technological advancements, and the quest for knowledge, Ecclesiastes exposes these endeavors as ultimately futile in providing lasting meaning or satisfaction. Cook elucidates Kohalat's perspective, accentuating the absurdity and allowing the pursuit of material wealth and success to dominate one's life. This critique resonates deeply with today's society, where consumerism and the ceaseless pursuit of more often lead to a condition described as affluenza, an insatiable hunger for material acquisition that inevitably leaves one feeling empty and dissatisfied. Furthermore, Kohalet's journey explores themes of wealth, work, wisdom, and pleasure, only to find that each, in its own way, fails to provide a clear path to a fulfilling and meaningful life. His observations on the ceaseless cycles of nature, generations coming and going, the sun's relentless rise and set, serve as metaphors for the repetitive, often mundane reality of human existence. Despite humanity's constant toil and innovation, the essential human conditions of desire, fulfillment, and meaning remain unaltered. In addition, the diagnosis of society's malaise as affluenza affirms Ecclesiastes's relevance to contemporary discussions about happiness, fulfillment, and the true essence of a well-lived life. The text challenges the reader to look beyond the superficial allure of wealth and status, urging a deeper examination of life's purpose beyond material success. It posits that true understanding and fulfillment lie not in human endeavors, but in acknowledging and seeking divine wisdom and guidance. Further, Cook's thorough analysis of Ecclesiastes offers a poignant reflection on the human condition, inviting readers to ponder the deeper questions of existence amid the transient nature of worldly pursuits. The book's emphasis on the limitations of human wisdom and the insufficiency of material wealth in providing lasting satisfaction speaks to the heart of spiritual-seeking individuals across ages and cultures. Besides, Ecclesiastes' message is both timeless and timely, offering a counter-narrative to the prevailing ideologies of progress and materialism. By questioning the foundational assumptions about happiness and purpose, the text provides a framework for exploring the deeper, more existential questions of life. It prompts a re-evaluation of our priorities, encouraging a shift from the external pursuit of material wealth to an inward journey toward understanding and embracing life's ultimate purpose as revealed through divine wisdom. Thus, Ecclesiastes stands as a beacon of wisdom literature, illuminating the path to a more reflective, purposeful, and spiritually aligned approach to the art of living well. Additionally, in an insightful exploration of human contentment in the pursuit of wealth, Cook unveils the great emptiness that accompanies the relentless chase for financial success and material possessions. By weaving together biblical teachings, psychological studies, and personal reflections, Cook presents a compelling case for re-evaluating our societal and individual priorities in search of genuine fulfillment. Moreover, Cook dissects the inherent limitations of wealth as a source of satisfaction. 
He argues that the nature of wealth is such that it breeds an insatiable desire for more, leading to a perpetual state of dissatisfaction. This cycle is not only self-defeating but also distracts individuals from finding true value and success in life. The pursuit of wealth, Cook suggests, becomes a maze with no exit, where each financial milestone only extends the path further. Furthermore, drawing on biblical insights, Cook asserts the wisdom of ancient texts that caution against the pitfalls of materialism. He cites several passages from the New Testament where Jesus speaks of the impossibility of serving both God and money and warns of the futility of greed. The Apostle Paul, in his epistles, also warns of the dangers of wealth, equating the love of money to a root of all kinds of evil. These teachings, Cook highlights, offer a stark reminder of the spiritual and moral bankruptcy that often accompanies the unchecked pursuit of financial gain. In addition, Cook delves into the societal perspective that views wealth as a sign of divine favor. He contends that this notion not only misconstrues spiritual blessings, but also obscures the real dangers of an overattachment to wealth. Using Ecclesiastes as a reference, he illustrates how Solomon, despite his immense wealth, lamented the emptiness of his pursuits and warned of the vanity of finding ultimate meaning in material possessions. Further, adding a modern dimension to his arguments, Cook references contemporary studies that reveal the psychological and emotional toll of wealth. Research indicates that those who attain great financial success often experience higher rates of depression, anxiety, and dissatisfaction, challenging the conventional wisdom that equates wealth with happiness. These findings, Cook debates, indicate the biblical warnings and exemplify the weighty disconnection between material wealth and genuine contentment. Besides, in discussing the pursuit of meaning through work, Cook offers a personal anecdote about the transient nature of labor and its inability to provide lasting fulfillment. He echoes Ecclesiastes in maintaining that all human endeavors, regardless of their scope or impact, eventually fade or are left behind. This realization, while sobering, prompts a crucial reevaluation of our work's ultimate purpose and value. Additionally, in addressing the existential quandary posed by the futility of wealth and labor, Cook proposes a dual approach for navigating life with a sense of purpose and contentment. In the short term, he advises finding joy in life's simple pleasures, such as food, drink, and relationships, recognizing them as divine gifts to be cherished without attachment to their fleeting nature. For long-term fulfillment, Cook appeals to the wisdom of Ecclesiastes, which advocates for a life rooted in the fear of God and adherence to His commandments. This paradigm shift from seeking meaning in worldly pursuits to finding it in spiritual obedience, offers a pathway to true fulfillment. Lastly, Cook's nuanced discourse culminates in a clarion call to embrace trust and obedience to God as the foundation of a meaningful life. By relinquishing the futile chase after material wealth and success, and redirecting our focus towards divine principles, Cook suggests that we can attain a sense of purpose that transcends the transient allure of worldly achievements. Through his comprehensive analysis, Cook not only challenges prevailing cultural narratives, but also provides a roadmap for navigating life's complexities with grace and contentment. His reflections serve as a timely reminder of the eternal values that offer true satisfaction and meaning in a world often captivated by the shimmer of materialism.